Welcome back to HSN. My name is Guy. I'll be with you for the next two hours. We got great shows coming up. Our today's special will be starting uh, in about an hour from now uh, from DeLonghi, our brand new air conditioners. But before we get to that, we had a great show that's all about kitchen needs and kitchen items that you may need. We have a brand new, it's called Kitchen Solutions, by the way. We have a brand new item I'm really excited about because uh, I'm pretty passionate about making sure your knives are sharp. I worked in the restaurant business for 18 years, and I will tell you right now, the only dangerous knife in the drawer is the one that's dull. Why? Because you always have to exert more pressure when you're slicing and chopping and dicing on a dull knife. So you have to keep your knives very, very sharp. The problem is most of the uh, sharpeners that you see at the local store are pretty much garbage. They don't really work. Until now, we've come up with one, or Bavarian Edge has come up with one, that actually has a diamond dust coating. Your knives are gonna be ra razor sharp with minimal effort. It's only $22.95. Tim Wilkins is here. Tim's gonna tell us about it. And Tim, I will tell you, this thing this thing should win awards for design. It's a beautiful, uh, do you, normally they're very industrial and they're kind of chunky. This is a beautiful piece of art here. And, and normally they grind down your knives. Those sharpeners right. you see with the wheels and the motors in them will grind down your knives. Right. This actually has two spring-loaded, spring-action oh, yes. wheels here yeah, in the back move a little that bit. flex. And then if I turn it just right, you see this little silver piece right here. That's the tungsten carbide sharpeners okay. with the micro diamond dusting on it. And when this flexes and opens, when these actually open, they open to get to the right angle for every blade. Because every knife is a little bit of a different thickness and, and size. And it does serrated blades, it does Japanese blades. You okay. can open up your kitchen shears and do those. Now, here's the beauty. What have we done for years, Guy? A little fun fact. I actually grew up working in my, my family's butcher shop yeah. and learned to sharpen. Of course, we did it oh, back well, in the old I days. I never liked those things. Like this. Yeah. They tell us now that's very dangerous. So what you end up doing, you actually have to keep this at a 15 degree angle to sharpen. Yeah. I wasn't good in geometry. No. And this is just gonna wear your knives Tim, out. They don't work. No. I, you know, I, and listen, you know, unless unless you have the things treated all the time, and you'll see professional chefs use them, and they do it so quickly, but you have to, pretty much you have to use that honing stick every day uh, to keep them sharp. Constantly. They, it doesn't put the kind of edge on that this will. So how well, does it work? Now you saw me going tip down like this. This is yeah. actually putting a coarse sharpening on it, really getting the right angle on And then this is my Fine, I'm gonna do four or five with a light downward pressure. That's okay. all I'm doing, like that. Now, let's give this a little wipe and see the particles that actually, as opposed to wearing it down, you'll actually see, well, a little bit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A really fine dusting of the metal. Of the metal that now, actually, well, that's, guy, you have to remove material to get it sharp. Stand back, my friend. All right. Stand way back. I don't wanna get any pineapple juice on. <laughs> that, my yeah. friend. That's is sharp. a sharp knife. Yeah, it really is. And and as I said before, the key the key to doing all your prep work and doing it properly without any real danger is you need a knife that is sharp. And you can see how Tim's doing this. And look at how it just goes right through. And normally you don't chop a tomato, you no, slice it. No, you slice it with a serrated you, edge. This shows you how quickly and easily that works. You ready? I'm gonna fan this open like it's a mandolin. Look at how beautiful, uh, oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, look yeah, at yeah, how nice. wafer thin yeah. you can get your tomatoes. Look at how beautiful that so, is. So what kind of knives does it work on? You said it works on all of them? It works Pretty on, much. here's the beauty. It works on anything that will fit in there. And especially, this is one thing you normally couldn't do, your serrated knives. Here's the, here's the features. The fact that it opens and flexes, we mentioned this, those spring action tungsten carbine sharpeners actually open up to get at the different widths, thicknesses, lengths, depths of knife, the serrated yeah. edges, your Japanese Santoko knives. Right. Um, kitchen shears, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, check this out when I come back to this serrated knife. I get the bowl down there, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Here, here's where it is. You put this at about a 35 degree angle, but you wanna see which side the serrated edge is on and then that just opens up to be exactly the right angle. Oh yeah, see how it fits right and down in there. And it flexes yep. to sharpen those knives. I'm gonna give that a few spins. There it is right there. And now, well, I should have done a nice before and after here, but this is gonna fall through this bread that would normally be too soft. Mm -hmm. Look at that, just falling through this beautiful bread. All right, so here's what I'll tell you. $22.95 is the price out of the gate. Um, you know you've seen the $30 and $40 and $50 um, plug-in models. I, I prefer to do it this way because I think it's the best way to get the edge is to hold it in your hand. Um, you're gonna grind the you-know-what out of your knives. They're not gonna very, last very long if you use a, a lot of the powered machines if you don't know how to use them properly because those you don't put any pressure on. This you slightly move down and as it draws through, see it's, it's tungsten carbide is, is basically the material that, um, that it's coated with and then on top of that, they put diamond dust. And diamond, of course, the hardest thing in the world. So the diamond is what helps to remove the material with the tungsten. And I've, you know, I've had a, a tungsten sharpener 
at my house for years. It's actually a piece of pure like tungsten uh, carbon steel, and it's the best way to sharpen knives. This has diamond dust too, so you, this this is just, this has the best of both worlds. Yeah. You see how that's flexing to get in this extra long uh, slicing knife here that I'm going to use on this ham. So mm -hmm. that's that's giving it that coarse sharpen, and then if I just change the angle with a light downward pressure, and yep. be sure to hold it with the other hand. That's what's gonna give me my fight. Now, if I actually wanna polish my sharpened knives and give them that beautiful, sharp right. edge, a little back and forth on a horizontal, it's really that simple. No mortars, no plug-in, no battery. And then this would be something that would normally be a little iffy, but if I wanna make this sandwich thin, like my daughter likes on her sandwich, this, yeah. put this on a Hawaiian roll. Put that somewhere with some light Dijon mustard or some yeah, nice, look at how nice German mustard. Well, not look everybody, how people, most people don't own a slicer. No, no, I <laughs> wish I did. I wanted one forever. So did I. But you know what, they take up way too much room and they're expensive, they're like 350 bucks. So I was always like, and then there's a little cheap plastic one which you don't wanna do. Get yourself a set of uh, decent knives, and I always say buy decent knives, don't buy cheapo knives. We've got plenty of great knives here. And then buy yourself a decent sharpener. You know, for years, I used to yell at my brother, my, my older brother Darren, I'd be like, dude, why are your knives? Every knife in his house was dull. And I was like, and it was like, ah, we just don't think about it. And I'm like, yeah, but you know, and then finally he started to, when he started to cook a little bit more, then he appreciated it, right? Where you need to have razor sharp knives. It makes your life so much easier in the kitchen. And there isn't a professional chef out there that doesn't have a way to sharpen knives. In fact, in the restaurants that I ran, we actually had a company that would come in and charge us to sharpen all our knives. Oh, we had it's so big many. business. Um, you can do this in the comfort of your own home with a great style as well. And, uh, and really get great results too. Now, that. I, I tell you, the story long before there were labor laws for child labor that was me at 12 years old working in the family meat shop in delhi and i learned to sharpen knives i learned to break down a side of beef a hind quarter a four quarter and really get this moving and work with knives and i learned early on yeah. that a sharp knife is so much less dangerous you've got of course. and not to mention now yeah. as i started cooking we both know from the restaurant business when things are cut evenly they cook yeah. evenly right so a sharp knife yep. gives you better cuts and better even well it, it's like anything else i mean you wouldn't go you wouldn't uh, go to battle with with, with a dirty <laughs> the dirty gun right no. you gotta maintain all your all your tools and weapons and things like that well you do it's just anything that you have in your house you have to make sure you maintain especially items that can be dangerous if you don't don't take care of them. That's why they're dangerous, right? Because you haven't maintained them properly. Um, and a knife, honestly, there's really the two things you have to remember. This is my rule. You don't have to go buy it about a knife is keep it razor sharp and then keep it in a place where nobody can hurt themselves with it. Okay. That's why you normally have chopping blocks or you have a little cover that goes on your knives. I'll give you one more tip. How else would knives you like this? this? Never put these in the dishwasher. No. Even though they say dishwasher safe, don't do it. Why? Not because it'll relatively hurt the knife, but it will with a wooden handle, but reaching into a dishwasher and all of a sudden there's a knife sitting in there and you happen to not see it, that can be dangerous. So this is the kind of stuff you can do. You ever wonder how, you know, chefs get out there and they can cut really fast. Uh, it's, it's yes, it's, it's skills with a knife, but it's also the knife itself. You have to have a knife that is super sharp to be able to do paper thin slices like that. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. It's all about maintenance. And as I said, you know, if you're one of those people that never sharpens your knives or you wonder, you know, I can't do this. I, first of all, where's that little honing stick again? Let's show what, everybody that. So this is the way we've done it yeah. for years. And this is just to know the, just the perfect angle that 15 to seven, what, who knows what a 15 to 17 yeah. degree angle is to get this. And it's just honing. It's not really giving a coarse sharpen. Well, it's not it, giving you the degree of sharp. I, as we've said, I've, I've, I know chefs and I've watched chefs over the years. I've spent 20 years in the food business and I've watched them and they do it. They have to sharpen them pretty much two or three times a day. Um, and the reason that, that a chef does that is because you're cutting on cutting boards and you're cutting on surfaces that dull the knife. It's not the fruits or vegetables that dull your knives. It's the board you're cutting on. Um, because, you know, a, 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 a tomato or a or a, you know, a piece of um, a fruit is not gonna dull a knife. What dulls it is the surface that you're cutting on. This established that this is actually really good animation that shows how it works. Can I try one no, too, Tim? Absolutely, try one and then I wanna show you that steel and those other things cannot sharpen your serrated edges, your, your uh, shears that normally you pull these apart. Oh, wow. I can now sharpen these shears so your kitchen shears are sharp enough. Yeah. So when you give your wife or your girlfriend or your husband those dozen roses, as they well deserve, it's Mother's Day in a couple of weeks, uh, next weekend as a matter of fact, yeah. Mother's Day, when you give them those roses, you're able to trim off those thorns and put them in there, trim off the bottom and keep one? them alive. Tear you know I'm good with a knife, so. Look at that. Look at how it falls through that. You're not putting extra pressure on that. 
That's a seriously sharp knife with just a few passes wow. through the Bavarian edge. Wow. It's the, the way that it flexes, the way those springs are made, that tungsten carbide sharpening surface. Look at that, how it's beautiful that is. It's a lot of slices. Is. All right, and, and again, if you look at these slices, right, these are, as Tim said, those are, that's amazing. And this, I can put it this way, and I don't want you to do it. You can tell when it's sharp when you run your thumb kind of over the end, you know. There's also a test on the back of the nail um, that pa chefs do. Paper would, actually you don't works need, too. Right, you don't need to do that at home, but this, I, and I can tell by by the way that cuts, how it's actually digging into the fruits and vegetables and, and you, you know what's a better contact here, you're, you're a, a awesome. really good one with a knife. Yes. Here's another great test. If you're gonna use that knife on a carrot, yeah, you're making that beautiful. Look, but look how evenly you're rocking that, and chopping, My bro. little rock and push there that I learned in chef school. Yeah, there it is right there. But look at how easily that is without all that pressure and you don't stand the, the, the risk of that. that. That is super cool and, and, and you are really, and remember the key to sharpening a knife is you have to remove material and that's what it does. It'll take a little bit of the knife off. That's why your knives are thick because you're taking the material off to keep them sharp. Stay on the line, $22.95. It's on FlexPay 1148, brand new uh, and a great deal. And this is the top of the line. You may have heard of Bavarian Edge. This is the number one top of the line knife they have in their line. So it's a great price for that, especially when you think about what your what your uh, knives cost. Getting a great knife sharpener is worth the deal. Nice job. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Wilkins. Uh, hey, I want to remind everybody coming up, uh, Mark Gill is going to be joining us. Have any of you guys seen the, this Robo Twist? <laughs> it's like a, it is a robot built to take the jars off your lids. All you do is you put it on the top, it clamps the to on the top of the jar, and it even oh, uh, unscrews it for you. It'll work on any type of jar, small, large, doesn't matter, but it's, I, I especially recommend this for my senior friends out there that are having a little bit of trouble with your hands and having trouble uh, opening things up, or anybody out there that has a hard time opening things. This is gonna make it so much easier, and it comes with that uh, little slicer grip uh, guide to come with it as an extra feature too. That's only $19.95. So I know y'all out there, y'all love your, your crispy fried foods. Uh, the issue is you don't want to have to deep fry them all over again. You want to put them in the oven and you're looking for the best way to get it. That's our showstopper. Stick around, I'll tell you about it. All right, I gotta get my hands on these. Stephanie Roberts here again for two days in a row. We were gonna get right. her. We, we had a blast with the pressure cooker yesterday, and today we're talking about you, you know, because I know you've got teenage boys. Ugh. The the fascination and the love of crispy fried foods. Absolutely. So we go and we buy the big bags of fries and all that great stuff. The problem is we put them in the oven and they seem to wind up getting soggy. Exactly. Or they don't cook properly or they burn very easily. What Stephanie's brought to us from our friends at Dash is what they call crisper trays. And, and these things are all the rage out there right now, but Dash always kind of does things better than everybody else. You get two of these trays, you get a large one and you get a medium size and they work I mean, it's kind of like science how they work. It's absolutely amazing how yeah. well they work yes. at this price point. So I'm a huge fan of air fryers. And of course, Dash has a great one that fits right on your countertop. But these are Dash's crisper trays. So it's kind of like when you don't either have the time or want to make the investment in another electric kitchen appliance. This is all you need to get crispy, crunchy food from your oven. Okay, we're starting our day with one of my favorites, the turnover. When I bake these in the oven, half of it gets flat on the bottom of the oven oven unless I use a crisper tray. So now I have the same golden brownness all the way around. If you microwave it, there's not one bit of golden brownness. And so all I'm really doing, and it sounds so incredibly simple, is taking this tray, which is a mesh tray with yeah. a nice nonstick coating on it. I'm putting my coconut shrip on them and they're so crispy they're, because I can hear them. it's amazing. Yeah. Any liquid that is in the food, and you know, shrimp doesn't have a lot of liquid that cooks out of it, right. but a lot of foods do. And you know, when you bake them in the oven on a cookie sheet, it makes them mushy yeah. or one side sticks. You don't right. get that all around crispiness, which is the reason many people have gone yeah. into and purchased air fryers. So what's coming to you in this set is a medium size and a small size. They could not be easier to store. Again, all we do is stack and slide right into the cupboard, but it really makes a difference in absolutely everything you cook. So once you get these home, you start putting everything on them. They are certainly not just about fried foods. You know, Chex Mix, something easy to put on them. My fishes, so I'm yeah. gonna make a lot of trips back and forth to the oven. That's fine, And we'll Go start right to ahead. talk about all the different things yeah. we can use these for. While you're doing that, I wanna remind everybody these are only $12.48. You know, it's it's these little, little extra 
helping uh, uh, things that we bring into our lives that, that just make the world so much simple. If you've got uh, kids or if you won't like snacks and you, you don't want, like we said, you don't want to invest in a full out air fryer, you don't have the room for it, this actually turns any oven or any barbecue into kind of an air fryer because you can actually use these out on the grill. You can use them yeah, anywhere can. you want. Um, and, and nothing will stick to them. What I do, because I have these at home, is I put a, uh, a regular uh, baking sheet down on the bottom rack. Yes. And then I put these above it because, you know, it's perforated. The reason it's perforated is to allow for that circulation, correct? Exactly. So I can do things like roast my vegetables. Oh my gosh, look at those. Right here in my crisper tray. And I'm glad you mentioned the grill because these are grill safe. In fact, they're temperature safe up to 500 degrees. So what I do if I want to get that kind of gr grill kissed flavor is that I just put the crisper tray right on the grill. Mm. You can't put a Brussels sprout right on the grill. It obviously no. ends up in the fire. So I like the fact that I have options here to do that. Oh, like Some, your asparagus and stuff yes, like that, right? Yes, because again, we used to have to have special trays to put on the grill. Right. Now you can go ahead and do it with the crisper tray. I like to do the breaded items from the freezer section on it because look, look at the ooey gooey cheese, but yet I've got that that crunchy wow. exterior that I love so much. I do not have, and I will not use a traditional fryer. It's just too much grease, too much oil, and I have kids that like the crunchy food too much. It's a lot of mess so, for mom. It's a lot of mess for mom, <laughs> and it's just, I don't feel good putting that into my family. Right. So as a result, I am constantly getting the fried foods and air frying them, or as I like to call them, oven frying them. But the thing about that is, if you're doing it on a cookie sheet, you just truly aren't getting a great results. You're not getting that true fried experience. Why do we all love fried food? Because we love the crunch. So this is an ingenious way to get the crunch without having to use the oil. I am not missing anything. I mean, do you really like oil? Of course you don't. The only reason we're using it is to go ahead and get the crunch. I love that they diffuse the heat so quickly because I noticed you didn't even really have to use a towel to pull I, these things out. Exactly. These are warm coming right. out of the oven, Ooh. not hot. So I have a 500 degree temperature span on these but yet again this is what? not a, yeah mine's gonna be longer okay so here's something else when you do with the crisper trays with your cheese sticks what happens to a cheese stick when you do it just on a cookie sheet I'm going to do something not appealing this, is, not this is what happens picks. to a cookie sheet when you do it on yeah. a, on a or a uh, what do you call those mozzarella yeah. sticks right. when you do it on a cookie sheet they get flat on the bottom the cheese blows out the edges and you know okay obviously they taste fine but that's not appetizing right. when I do it with my crisper trays again that hot air is circulating all the way around absolutely nothing sticks so any foods that you want a crispy crunch on <clears throat> anything that you want to get complete air circulation around so anything that you would typically do on a cookie sheet but then you notice that mm. it sticks or then you, then you notice that it isn't you know getting brown on one side right. anything you have to turn over in fact mm -hmm. this happened to me last week what about garlic bread again I'm feeding a lot of boys so we do a lot of the grab and go easy kind of cooking at my house because it's all about the speed at which I can get it on the table when somebody decides they're hungry these are hard oh, to do yes on a cookie sheet I had to turn them three times yeah. to get the browning all around but when I do it this is actually pesto bread we took regular garlic bread put some pesto and cheese on mm -hmm. top elevate your frozen food. That is the name of my well, cooking game. You know what I like too is that I don't have to line it with foil. I don't have to put wax paper or anything like that. Which, exactly. by the way, when you do that, you trap the moisture underneath, and that's why you get soggy Sog. food. Okay. Yep. This is going to make it nice and crispy. Um, Look at and my bottoms. Easy to clean. Just rinse the thing off when you're done. That's it. I love the fact that um, whether it's frozen food, because a lot of people love the convenience of frozen food. I had this way. I had frozen onion rings last night. Yep. With with a sandwich, and I and they were delicious. But it's the way you cook them, and if you don't use a crisper tray, <clears throat> you have to turn the onion rings. You have to flip Absolutely. them. You have to scoop under the fries because basically they'll only cook against the, the heat of the surface. That's where they'll brown. It takes a longer time to brown the top of it. So with these, because the air circulates, everything cooks at the same time. You're not going to burn the bottom so much. You'll love that. So if it's for reading, it's they're great for reheating as well. Um, but if you love like fish or you like fish sticks, you know, or the little fish, um, you know, just little fish fillets that you buy, you know, from the, the Gorton fishermen or whatever it is you right. love. 
this is the way to do it. Buy, if you buy them for, for no other reason, just buy them for chicken wings. Yep. I will tell you, it's the greatest way to cook your wings. And look healthy. Look at the browning. Look at how perfectly those are cooked. Look at that color. It is absolutely Again, gorgeous. I would put it, make sure you put a, a tray underneath these on the first rack because they're, you know, they're fatty and they're going to drip. Absolutely. So, so I yeah. would put these on the top rack and then I would slide a cookie sheet onto the bottom rack simply because anytime you do anything like the chicken, like the salmon, you know, it's going to have some drips involved. So you don't want to get that in your oven. But you know where I don't want that fat dripping onto? Back onto my food. Right. You know, if you do this on a cookie sheet, sheet, you are just reabsorbing the fats from the chicken wings. If you do it on a crisper tray, honestly, it's just like air frying. It is the same concept. This is allowing the oven heat to circulate around my food because obviously these are mesh. So the heat goes around and around the food and look how crispy my wings get. I will now never submerge a wing in a vat of oil again mm -hmm. because the only reason I do it is to get the crispy crunchies on my food, but I don't want the oil. This is how you get crunch without oil. And this is how you get crunch without having to spend a yep. lot of money right. on another kitchen appliance. Well, it's ingenious how simple it is. Yeah, there's enough fat on your chicken wings anyway. You don't need to add, introduce more to it. Exactly. Uh, they will get crispy because of the skin on the outside and that is the best way to be able to do it. We're giving you two of these. You get a large one and then you get a medium size. So and again, they are safe to use in your oven. They're safe to use in, on your grill. You can utilize them for that as well um, because they stand up off the grill and you can put fish or veggies or whatever it is. They're ideal for reheating um, leftovers too because yep. normally, uh, you know, your leftovers have already been cooked once so you don't want to kill it on one side. Exactly. This allows that air to circulate so things like egg rolls egg rolls or are a good one. or pretty much anything. I mean, anything you want to cook, you want to cook all the way around it because that's what convection does and Stephanie knows about that more than anybody because she's introduced so many air fryers exactly. here. Exactly, and I, this to me is a wonderful well, substitute for yeah, an air fryer. Air fryer's a couple hundred bucks. Not so. everybody wants to invest in an right. air fryer, not everybody has the space for an air fryer. If you are in a small apartment, if you have looked at the concept of air frying and thought, oh my gosh, I'd love to do that, but I don't wanna make that kind of investment, I don't cook that much, this is for you. I am getting air fryer results mm. simply from a crisping tray. Guys, exactly right when he talks about leftovers. If you do something like, you know, go out for Asian food and come home with some things. Okay, we all know we microwave leftovers most of the time because of speed. But think about the end result that's mush. If you put them in the oven, you then end up with the flatness on one side. You have to roll them while they're cooking. Right. I mean, again, it's a leftover. We're just trying to get the quality <clears throat> of our food back on the table where we got it the first time. Exactly. This is, to me, a smart cut, great, easy solution for yeah. so many different things in the kitchen. I am to the point in life with all the teenage boys that I do not feel bad about cooking shortcuts. In fact, now I'm looking no. for them, we, right? You and I talked about that yesterday. We what, absolutely what? did. It's, you know, you've got to get the food on the table. Listen, I'm always, I am a huge advocate of somebody else does it better and easier than me. I have no issue with stealing from them <laughs> uh, or getting it. I, I used to do that when I ran restaurants. I had this lady down the street that made the best cheesecake on the planet and my chef tried to make it and I'm like, no, let's buy hers and we'll just charge people for it. <laughs> and that's, that's what you're doing here. You know, you, you, the convenience of buying prepared food is wonderful. You, you know, listen, you, uh, try, go ahead and try to make chicken tenders on your own. Good luck with two containers, one with eggs, one with breadcrumbs. Yeah. You I can, can do it. It just Sunday, takes a long time. Maybe on Sunday when I got four hours to do stuff like that, I'll do it. But we take the convenience of our, of our prepared foods and it makes it good. When you do want to take the time to, 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 you know, really prepare a wonderful meal like we did right here. And this is a perfect example. Yes. Salmon and asparagus. Look at how well it's cooked. I'll give you a little room there. Yep. It is cooked perfectly. And the salmon uh, kind of roasts inside there. And if you want, don't forget, you know, you can spray your say, your uh, your veggies with a little olive oil or whatever to give them a little bit of flavor. Of course you I can. I always, like I said, I put a sheet tray down on the bottom rack, just in case anything drips off. But what a great way to cook. And the, and the results. Like, look at the salmon. The salmon is absolutely gorgeous. And you know what? You can put the crisper trays on the grill. So if you want some of that taste oh, of the grill, of, you know, the fire, of the flame boil, sure. go ahead and put the actual crisper tray on the grill. I know it sounds crazy, but these are 100% grill safe. So then I've got the bonus of not figuring yeah. out, how is my salmon going to stick to the grates? Is my asparagus going to roll through it's the grates? It's so easy. This is the way to yeah. make grilling so much easier on top of everything else. That's and here's your pizza. 
leftovers. One of my favorite things you do with this is reheat pizza because for some reason, don't ever reheat pizza in the microwave. It's a kid, you're just no, killing it. No, no, do no. Do this, it cooks very, very quickly. It allows that heat to get through in the bottom. Because look at the nice bottom, crispy. then I get yeah. the crisp. Again, if you're gonna spend the money on food, even at a restaurant, especially at a restaurant, when you enjoy the leftovers the next Love day, it. elevate them back to that restaurant level. You're gonna get two of these for $24.95 and you'll absolutely love them. They have so many different uses, so take yep. advantage of that. Uh, great job, thank you so much, Stephanie, as always. Uh, Something we're not going to have time to air, but I wanted to tell you about is our Easy Hold Mandolin. I have one of these at home and I love it. So if you're trying to chop veggies, and I don't care whether it's onions or tomatoes or cucumbers or carrots or zucchini, whatever it is, you can do it with one of these. These are mandolins, which is basically kind of the, the French word or the French method of slicing. Uh, they have a built-in juicer in the handle too. See a little uh, cylindrical thing? That's a juicer too. But it also allows you to grip the food when you're slicing to make it safe. Uh, it's only $34.95. Mounds and mounds of coleslaw you can do. Uh, you'll never shed a tear when you cut an onion. Uh, it's free shipping and handling on this as well, so you're saving yourself five bucks and it's on FlexPay, $11.65 there. All right, so we're gonna run away. We're gonna get ourselves set up. We got origami coming. We got my friend Mark Gill. Easiest way to ever open a jar. Coming your way next. Stick around. Don't miss a thing with our HSN app. Available on Apple and Android devices. Get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals. Shop faster than ever with exclusive new product videos. Only on the iPhone. Watch HSN Live anytime, anyplace. And the new shop and search features make finding your favorites easier than ever. Search app on hsn.com to download. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that, the possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say YES to DIY at HSN. Gil here. You know, I, I can't imagine anything more frustrating to anybody out there. If, if, if you have an injury or if you're a senior, mm -hmm. <clears throat> than not being able to open up jars. That has to be the of most all frustrating. The that are going right? to stop you in your tracks. That can't be it. Yeah. <laughs> well, until now, <laughs> we have the, uh, the the Robo Twist. Look at yes, yes. Watch what it is. It's like having a little a little sous chef, a little helper in the kitchen that's got muscles uh -huh. that will open your cans and jars for you. This is a battery operated machine that is completely adjustable to different exactly. jars and I will tell you Mark I I absolutely love this thing I got one for my mom because you know it, it's like listen my mom and John are there neither one of them really has the strength to open a lot of the jars right. anymore and so but they what do they they feel so I would say disempowered that's it when they can't open a jar and you know a lot of these jars you know they're vacuum packed right if it's been sitting on the shelf for tell a while it's possible to open I can't open I'm no right pounds. I know <laughs> So anyway, this is only $19.95. It's a customer pick. Watch Mark go here and just start ordering because I'm telling you, you're going to love this thing. There it is. Guys, Saturday morning cartoons lied to us. We're yeah. supposed to have robots for everything. I know. <laughs> I shouldn't even I have to move. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. Guy hit it right on the head. If this is what's stopping you, a loved one, your mom, your dad, your aunt, your eight-year-old in the kitchen at lunchtime, if this is what's stopping you from your favorite foods, your favorite experiences, your favorite get-togethers, your favorite companies, stop it. Because we've teamed up to take care of this. And guys, this is no joke time. This is the real deal. I wish you could feel the weight of this. Yeah. This is an actual robot, an actual gear, just like you see in the transmission of a car, you guys. Look at those teeth. And the yeah. best thing about it is um, uh, HSN, and uh, Emson has found a way to make this simple and easy, and have found a way to make this battery operated. Can you believe that you're gonna get the torque and power watch, watch how that you need without something that's battery operated? What? It's just that simple, you guys. <laughs> One oh. finger, one hand, no strength. So if you've got somebody in the family with arthritis, if yeah. you've got uh, a, a dexterity issues, maybe there's something, a hypertension in the wrist, sure. maybe they have a sore pinky. Whatever's stopping right. them from getting what into if, that yeah, jar. What if you broke a finger or your wrist and you've got it. one hand to open things up? Exactly. So, so here's what I'll tell you. Uh, 
we've only we brought in a few thousand of these to it's go it. around but at this price at the price break because it's normally not on price break and i think it's uh rob does that say only three dollars to ship Ooh. yeah it's only three bucks to ship this out you will love it jelly jars uh it could be uh you know uh, uh tomato sauce anything right I, the pickle jars seem to be the worst of all well and guys here's what we've done we've made an exclusive design for here our friends and family at hsn we're going to give you the rubberized feet on both the top and the bottom up until now pop I love that sound. Up until now, we've only had the rubberized uh, grips on the top there, but what ends up happening is it limits the size and shapes of jars that you can use. Well, you know what? We've taken care of that. Guy, I, you know, I'm gonna say it a hundred times during this presentation. I'm a kitchen guy, you're a kitchen guy. We show love through food. We invite friends, we invite family. You know what? Whether it's that big meal or just getting something done at lunchtime, yeah. bottom line is, if this is what's stopping you, yeah. you have to stop. And here's a big one for me. If you have kids, you guys, a lot of us have our kids come home at lunch, okay? They gotta take care, they wanna make their peanut butter and jelly sandwich, whatever it is. The last thing I want is my 10-year-old girl with a knife yeah. or under the water on the, on the counter, because that's what she does. <laughs> so watch this, you guys. Doesn't matter the shape, doesn't matter the size. This is designed to accommodate every single glass jar on the market from one and one quarter inch all the way up to family size three inch. Yeah. That's it. That's all you need to know. I don't care if the jar is square, round, short, fat, tall. It doesn't matter at all. So watch what happens here. The top two grab the lid. The bottom two, go ahead and start that force and that torque, and then all you do is let it happen. Watch this, here comes the pop. Here it comes. Watch. They're vacuum sealed. There, there it, is. it is. You see how it just popped right there? And that's what we lose that the ability so cool. to do, guys. Yeah. That's what we lose. Well, it gives us the strength that maybe we don't have any longer or that exactly. maybe we lost due to an injury or, or age or whatever it is. Um, I, I love these, as I said, for our senior friends out there because I love things that empower you. Right. Uh, that give you sort of something back that maybe you haven't had in a while. And let me tell you, the first time you use it, and you're successful with it and it pops open, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna be it's like, the best. what? <laughs> All right, so what do you got there? Well, this is kind of fun, you know. We, we've had our, uh, our Robo Twist here on the network for a, little, for a little bit of time. People are loving it, customer pick, everybody loves it. But here's the deal, you know what? When you have some success with a product, why not say thank you? So what we've done is for the first time, we're actually gonna give you our cutting guide here. So you know what? If you've got a little bit of trouble with dexterity in the kitchen, and again, if you don't <laughs> wanna mess around with the sharp blades and this and that and the other, grab that little guide, that great for for onions, great yeah. for lemons and limes. Listen, that's in the package. That's, that's free. Included, Thanks yeah. so much for making this such a popular item here on the network. So I love when, it. when you order, okay, uh, you don't have to worry about colors or anything like that. It just comes in one thing. I always love things that are easy to order. Right. Uh, if you have any questions and you want to call us right now, as we said, we're always open. You can call us with your testimony or any questions that you have. What I love is it's hand-free operation. There's nothing to plug in. It, it works on uh, <laughs> on just regular batteries. So you pop your batteries in there. It's easy to store. Um, you know, one push of a button and you let Robo uh, Twist do the work for you um, it'll like I said it'll fit in any cabinet or whatever and and mark it'll use it'll work on a variety <laughs> I love the pop sound the pop's it great. works on I don't know what it is about the, the jelly jars are the worst um, but but it works on a variety of sizes correct exactly and I this noticed some of your lids are different this some is plastic. designed exactly yeah. as long as the bottle itself is glass I don't care what your lids made out of right right we want to make sure that you've got a sturdy uh, base for the bottom feet to grab onto that's important but the bottom line is guys that is never gonna stop you again now now listen we're not the first ones to come up with different ways for you to open jars. Listen, there's lots of stuff out there, and you can see here exactly how we're using our jar the way it, the, 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 the way it's intended here. All you do yeah. is you pop the robo twist right on top of the jar, you push right. that big green button, yeah. and that's it. See what she's doing in the third thing? That's just watching and waiting. Exactly. I like that's the part I love. That's my, I that's noticed, my favorite one. Right, she, she has a little <laughs> smile on her face. I was like, too easy, too I easy. Like, eh, I remember this is, I thought that was exactly. Shannon Fox doing that right there. Uh, anyway, uh, it's so easy. So yeah, let, show me something the other way. Maybe you've seen What do I do with that? Guy, this guy that, here, this like change the oil on the car. I'm not sure what happens there. This this is for one lid, one lid only. This okay. just kind of scares a, me. A tooth extractor, and honest to goodness, I don't even know what that does. Come on, you guys. Yeah, Here's the deal, guy. No matter what the gimmick is, the bottom line is it still requires <laughs> force, it still requires dexterity, right. it still requires your effort. If this finger works right here, you're all set. That one finger, ready? That's yeah. all you gotta do, guys. Again, whether it's for your mom, like mine, who's closing in on 70, she lives in Canada yeah, now. Yeah, my mom's you know in what? her 80s, so And she's like, on yeah. her own now. And yeah. there's nothing I wanna think about less than her being stuck at home, alone, yeah. and being stopped and it. hindered. Here it comes. 
Love it. There's your pump. There's awesome. the vacuum. It's just like that, you guys. Hundreds of you in the ordering process, and I'm so happy for you. Give it a shot. Uh, you know, even if you're at the fence, try it out for a month uh, and see how it works out for you. Uh, all I know is that I, I can't tell you the number of times that, and uh, you know, and I guess it's uh, people pick on Mark and I because we're big guys, but it's like how many times somebody's asked you, can you open this for me? Can you open it? It's even worse when we can't open it. But so, right. think, so think how bad it is for somebody like my mom who's in her 80s or maybe you are in your 50s, 60s, 70s, or, and you've, you know, because you don't have to, you don't have to be a senior to have issues with your hands. Exactly. I, I, I've known, I've, I've got friends of mine that are younger than me uh, that have, you know, the carpal tunnel We've or they have, the they have We've soreness. We've got rheumatoid arthritis. arthritis. Yeah, you yeah. know, rheumatoid is a terrible disease. I've yeah, yeah, had yeah. that in my family too. Uh, and it affects people very young. Oh, and, and under the weather. Very, yeah, and very, right. <laughs> but, but how frustrating is it when very. you can't open? I mean, it's, it's like, they, you, I mean, you know, you hear this. You know, I have, I have so much trouble, I can't even open a jar. And then That's what do you a do? terrible thing. Then you have to adjust your lifestyle. Right. You have to adjust your plan based around the fact that this simple thing is stopping you in the kitchen. If that finger works, it's never a problem again, you guys. Watch this. You heard that pop. There's that vacuum. And that's what it does. That gear refuses to stop turning until that jar lid comes off. And you can see that, you guys. It's still got a grip on that bottleneck. The Who's jar, got the, the lid came off ages Mark ago. Does. It's still not quitting. That's what it's all about, you guys. It's about making that job in the kitchen <laughs> yeah. that can stop you for no reason. And again, uh, kids as well. If you've got the kids at home, the last thing you want is them doing whatever jar trick that grandpa did that time when he was over with the knife or the counter yeah. or the hot water. This I is know. glass. She's 10. I don't need that. But what she can do is push one single button. This is for young people, older people. This is for people that have the, you know, the issues with the dexterity and the movement, the carpal tunnel, perhaps maybe it's arthritis. Or if you just don't want to bother. Guys, we go and we buy can openers. They take up more space than this. Throw this in your drawer. That's it. That's all. Why ever make that a part of your day? Don't ever adjust your menu, your diet, your life, or your plans because of something that's this easily fixed. And while that finishes up, let me show you why this is working the way it does. This is an actual gear, like the gear in your car. And like the transmission in your car, those teeth don't stop working until that gear moves. That's all there is to it. There's no extra wires. You don't have to worry about recharging anything because this all works off of two AA batteries, which still blows my mind. I can't believe that and, we're getting that kind of force and, and off of that. And you'll get a lot of openings Hundreds. with this, right? Hundreds Not between. just those two batteries. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Look at that, you guys. Now, here's the other thing that I love. When you take a jar like this that sits in your fridge for a little while and you get that condensation on it, or if you've got food in here that is either naturally or we add sugar. If you sure. leave that in the fridge too long and it starts to crystallize up there, I don't have to tell you about that one, boy. You could have a goon twice my size it's, in the house. It's We're glue. not opening it. Turns it. To glue, <laughs> it's right? glue. And Guys, watch this. I, and you can't get that stuff open, so watch. Now, one finger. if you're joining us late, this is called the Robo Twist. And what this does is it makes opening your jars and cans so much easier. So, Mark, explain what's going on to everybody. We have two levels of padded feet here. Now, this is an exclusive design for HSN. Uh, traditionally, we've only ever had one, but we wanted to up the amount of jars that this will work on. So the padded feet grab the body, the padded feet up here grab the lid, and that torque Listen, there you go. Stop. It doesn't stop, man. That is it so might awesome. sound like it's having trouble, yeah. but it's not stopping. Well, that's, that's, that's just the gear kicking that, in, that's, man. That's the Robo Twist <laughs> way of going. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta get that right. <laughs> but you listen, better that <laughs> than you. Than you right? doing it. It's 100 percent right. You can use this over and over and over. Um, if uh, again, if you need a little more coaxing, read the reviews on HSN.com. Uh, it's got a lot of, uh, of uh, five-star reviews over there. People loving it. I think anything that empowers you and makes your life a little bit easier. Um, hey, listen, it's one less thing you got to worry about. Exactly. And one last person you need to ask a favor to help you with. You can do it yourself. You know, it's the same reason like when I when I go outside and I sell uh, and, and, uh, and you know talk about uh, uh, chainsaws and things like that that right. we have here at HSN. It's to allow you to do some stuff for yourself that I know you can handle. This is something, if you have the ability... To use this finger. That's it. One finger. Ding, 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 ding. That's, That's all, all you, you need. need to do. Jams, jellies, <laughs> big jars, small jars, lids from one and a quarter inch up to three inch family size. It makes no difference. We've teamed up HSN and Emson to make sure that the ability to open a jar is never, ever, ever what stops you in the kitchen. Never even what slows you no. down in the kitchen. Listen, we were supposed to have a bunch of robots. At least I can give you one. Exactly. <laughs> for, a, for, a night, for a $20 bill. 
Uh, I think if it works for you one time and, and you That's feel it. good, you'll, you'll get hooked on it. That's anyway, it. Uh, it is 606-620. Great job, Mr. Mark Gill. Thank you so Thank much. You, uh, less than $20 on this, and it's on FlexPay. Hey, if you get a chance, go over to hsn.com. I'd like you to check out our hot item. Uh, you all know how uh, that uh, we've been uh, so successful here with our brand new uh, flower uh, gentlemen that come and help us out. This is Meadow Valley. Um, thank you, Mark. If you would like some great flowers uh, and you would like to have them delivered to your house when they're ready, or I should say the, the, the um, actual starter flowers, this is a 10-piece rose lily mix. It's $49.95. Don't worry about when to ship it. We're going to ship it to you based on where you live and what your growing zone is, so you'll get it at the right time to pop it right out. This is a 10-piece collection. It's beautiful. Check it out on hsn.com. It's only $49.95. And while you're there, check out all the other things that we have there from Meadow Valley and Moss Mountain. We've got them there as well. Okay, so we're, uh, this is all about sort of kitchen solutions and getting you ready, because uh, you know, springtime is here. Summertime will be here before you know it. Um, and if you don't have origami yet or some form of origami, you need to check this out. This is our what we're calling our origami baker's rack. We call it a baker's rack basically because we had to call it something, but you can literally use this for anything. It doesn't have to just be for, for your baking stuff. It could be your coffee station. It could be a place to put odds and ends, books, things like that. You can use it in the kitchen. You could use it in your pantry. You could use it in a bedroom. Uh, it could be if you have a bathroom that you want to be able to put your towels and toilet tissue and all that stuff on. Uh, laundry room, you can put all your detergents, all those things. The price today is $129.95. We took $20 off and we reduced the shipping down to five. Literally, you can use it anywhere. <clears throat> and what it gives you, it gives you instant storage. Uh, wherever you go, Tracy Rose is here. She's gonna come out, my good friend Tracy. Hi, have you and seen this one yet? I don't, I, I don't know if I I've think done you saw this. the old school one. Yeah, this I is haven't. like Baker's Rack 2.0. Yeah, this mm -hmm. this is one of the nicest origami yeah. pieces I've ever seen. I love the uh, the wood shelving in right? here. And I love the different ways that you can use and hang and store Absolutely. stuff. But um, the, the key to this thing, in addition to uh, just having the extra storage, is how it's made. It, it arrives to you almost completely put oh, yeah. together. There's mm -hmm. like nothing to do. Uh, it essentially, and, and, and Tracy, as I'm speaking, will show you uh, just how easy this is. The whole thing folds up, so if you want to move it or store it, you can do that. I have a limited number of these. I only have about 1,000, uh, but they are awesome. They do come in color. So we have two colors left. Right. So it is the, this is called the just white. White. Mm -hmm. And then what do we call the brown? Is it a bronze? Yeah, or vintage bronze. Vintage bronze. Mm -hmm. So. There's only 200 oh, left wow. in white, so if you want to get it for the kitchen mm -hmm. or the bath, you should be ordering right now. White's the most limited. This is a great idea. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And I want to show you multiple different ways to use this one rack. But first and foremost, I want to show that you can put this together totally by yourself. And that's huge for me. You know, I'm all about storage and organization. I feel like the kitchen is one place that we need more storage <coughs> and org. And this is going to give you great storage. But check this out, guy. Um, this is how it's going to come. All right, flat packed like this, okay? All you have to do is open, open this up. up, okay? Yeah. Our famous origami clasp is right back here. And by the way, yeah. she, she, uh, Tracy is a strong woman, but she's not a bodybuilder no. type person. She no. can still do this, uh, and she can do it very easily. Yeah. And I love that it comes out of the box and like ready in 30 seconds. Oh yeah, <laughs> so this is, this is the first option. Okay, this in itself, um, it would be a great option. You've got three levels of organization. Each one of these shelves holds 75 pounds worth of weight. So look at you've got that nice beautiful wood right here, the powder coated steel, so three levels of organization. So let's take it to the next level if you want, um, you know, to use it as that full baker's rack or as a yeah. workstation. I would use this. I could use this outside by my grill. Absolutely. Like for my barbecue grill, because mm -hmm. I have like a prep table over here and I could put charcoal down there. I could store it. I mean, honestly, there's so many ways to right. use this. Absolutely. Yeah. What makes this one different than our old school model is we're giving you these little feet right here. That's going to give you the extra height, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you want to put your taller appliances on here and use the rack in itself, you're going to have that option. So you can have it, and then they just look at how easy this works. So you, just, you just line them up, oh and my. then. Um, Line them up and I then you just one. slide right into place, okay? Oh, so wow. check this out. So you can have this rack down and you can hook things if you want this to be a workstation. So if you yeah. want to use it in the garage or oh, yeah. if you're a do-it-yourself person. For your person, tools and stuff like that? Absolutely. Because yeah. <clears throat> no, no do-it-yourself projects start and end in one day. You know what I mean? Usually you get right. started and you've got like a couple days of stuff, sure. but you want like a workbench station. This is perfect for this. Potting station, perfect that for this. That was my next thing. I was just, I was looking at this and yeah. I was thinking, imagine if you were potting plants and you're a gardener and stuff like that. You mm -hmm. need a station like that. Otherwise, 
you're taking stuff out, putting it away, taking stuff out, putting it away every time, to your point, right. ongoing projects and mm -hmm. things like that. Or even if you're like, you know, you're, you're working on the kids' toys. Maybe, maybe let's, let's fast forward and it's holiday season and you got to put things together for the kids. Right. Do you have that little space where you could take care of that, where you mm -hmm. have multiple shelves? And by the way, the shelves are built to take a lot of weight. Yep. Uh, the top shelf's a, a little bit lighter weight, mm -hmm. but as you go down, is it what, 75 or 80 pounds? Each. Each shelf. 75 each. So, so okay. honestly, uh, these are going very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. My producer, Rob, is going to keep me posted as to white uh, because that is very limited and it's going to sell out first. Um, and it is selling the fastest right now. Here's the bottom line, guys. Listen, everybody needs extra storage. I don't care how big your house is or how small it is. And you need storage that can actually fit. This fits easily into a closet-type pantry, so if you want to use this to store food, you can do that. It fits easily in a laundry area. And listen, my laundry area consists of like, you know, a, a 10 by 10 area in my little uh, sun porch where we also have a workout mm -hmm. room, so I don't have a lot of space. This would go right up against the wall. Absolutely. It would be perfect, and I could put laundry basket on the bottom. I could put detergents there, folding station on top. Exactly. And whatever the heck you want to put up here. Yeah. And, and now we've you lifted that. You put the detergent up here. You, hold absolutely. It. And yeah. now you can... You can put little S hooks here if you wanted to use yeah. this. Let's say if you had your tools or anything like that. Your bake, uh, like you said, for the grill. Give you an idea of the size of yeah, this. Okay? Substantial. I, yeah, I'm six foot three, mm -hmm. so uh, and I'm it's wider than me. Thank goodness. Um, we're getting there, but anyway, it, it is. It's nice and wide. But but honestly, you can move it. And I'll try to hold it together here. You can move Look it very footprint. easily. It's not that heavy. Mm -mm. So if you need to move it around and you need to clean by it, you can or behind it, you can do that as well. Yeah. Um, I love the wooden shelves. Okay, so makes that, it. Totally, totally yeah. rich, beautiful. Look at that wonderful grain right there. Okay, so you've got that powder-coated stain uh, or powder-coated uh, finish on the steel. Then the wood right here. Look at the dimensions of this. It's about three feet long, so great, great surface area. But here's the kicker. It's just about 16 to 18 inches off of the wall. So all of this storage space, you're getting that vertical storage space. And the fact that it is made of that wood and that steel gives it a rich, classy. It's good looking. It is. <clears throat> it yeah, is. it elevates it because mm -hmm. it, it, it takes a little of the industrial away yeah. and makes it a little more like, okay, I can live with this. So if Absolutely. you really wanted to put this in da inside your house, <clears throat> it's ideal if you have like a sun porch area and you want to put plants on mm -hmm. it or flowers, you could do that. For me, I'm like, even look, you've got a little storage in the hallway there it'll fit into a closet so that if you need to store things in a closet and listen guys i don't care if you want to put shoes on this no. shoe boxes you want to put uh winter stuff and use it as storage um we mentioned it as a pantry but i know uh, listen we're very busy right now uh tracy's going to show us give you some ideas and i think when people look at it they think how much can i put on there you get a lot. Uh, an here's your answer. You got a lot of stuff on it. <laughs> yeah, here's your answer. Listen, microwave take up the most surface area in the kitchen when it comes to countertop yeah. space. You know, imagine being able to get those countertops back, you know, get those big appliances, the microwaves, the mixers, the pressure cookers, all of that stuff. Get it right here. You've got the height to do so. Plus, you can have your baskets of fruit. You can have everything that you need for the pantry. And look how beautiful this looks. There's not a question of where anything is. You take a look, it's exact, oh, this is what I need. But look at the amount of storage space that you're getting with this. We've got this one propped out as the pantry, but look at that. Everything that you need is now at your fingertips in a footprint that is literally 18 inches off the wall and three feet long yeah. in a beautiful, beautiful design. So remember, this we're calling it the baker's rack, and it looks great in the kitchen, but think of all the different places that you could utilize a yeah. storage solution like this. All right, uh, to get it home, I think it's, let's say, $25.99 wow. at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, so uh, 20, about 26 bucks to get it home. <clears throat> it's on Five Flex. Uh, and uh, you, we've reduced the shipping and handling on this as well. So you can take advantage of that. It's a great time to get this. And I, I don't think there's a host here, maybe not even a vendor here that doesn't use some type of origami. Right. Uh, what we love about it, uh, I think a, we love the quality of it. We love how, how versatile it is. But I think number two is we love that we don't have to put it together. Exactly. I, I have bought like shelving systems. <laughs> when I first got to Florida, I, I, I didn't have a, you know, here in Florida, we don't have, most of the time we don't have basements, mm -hmm. at least you know, older houses. So I need 
I had to, I bought a shed, put it out in the corner of the mm -hmm. property, and then I had to buy shelving for it. So I bought some plastic stuff from the home store. That lasted maybe one season. As soon as it got hot, it started to sort of lean to one direction, and then it started growing mold on the bottom of it. So I had to get rid of that. I got origami. And by the way, that was about 100 pieces to put together. Right. Uh, there's all these little elbow joints. And I'm like, what is this for? I'm like, this is crazy. This is a, a solid uh, a piece of material that comes to you already put together. The only thing you have to do is put that top rack on whether you want to use it or not, but you have that feature. I love that the white is kind of like a, almost looks like a country French sort of look mm -hmm. to it. So it's very clean. So if you want to put appliances or laundry Absolutely. things on there, uh, <laughs> you could do that as well. Um, we also have it in this bronze. I'm going to slide it over. And I, I, I wanted to show you that, that look at this. I'm, I'm pushing that out of the way with one hand. It's very stable, it is. Um, but it, it, it's, it, it, it has, it's substantial, but it's not super, super heavy right. Um, right. because of the material. So we got another one tricked out got here. Another one, yeah, in kitchen. And listen, we, I buy it the same way you do. You know, if it looks pretty and, it, and it's going to serve a purpose, I'm getting it. Because yeah. I'm going to tell you that sometimes this is now becomes a focal point in your kitchen. So you can take those appliances that maybe you bought in red or you bought in turquoise and you need to store them, but they also look pretty cool too. So now you can have them on display, but now everything has a functional home. So you've got your spices, you've got your baking, you've got your rat mat, every, and then look at the space. Come down here with me for a second. These big pots, where do you store those? Yeah. I mean, you, uh, normally they're like in your cab, on your um, what, the cabinet or something like that. It right. takes up a ton of space. Look at the amount of space that you're getting in between each shelf here. Also, I can't pull it up here, but down at the bottom we have what we're calling leveling feet, which means that I can screw these in, make them tighter, or I can make them a little looser, just in case maybe Balance there's it. any yeah, yeah. If there's any unevenness on your floors. This is going to allow it to be stable, so you're not going. It's never going to be wobbly. One of the things that people talk about when they order this and they go online and they leave reviews and I, I if you want to look up reviews on origami I will promise you you'll see probably more view, reviews there than almost any other product because mm -hmm. people are so excited about it and better reviews the, the reviews are amazing and what most people talk about is how well made it is right. uh, because they think oh, you know for 100 bucks what am I gonna get I'm gonna get something like it at the home store you throw it together it lasts you a season or two and then you're done we get people that buy when they buy one they buy two they buy three they mm -hmm. buy four and they use the different styles and different versions to store their stuff. There's some people that use them in the attic, in the basement, they use them indoors, they use them outdoors, uh, they use them in the kitchen, they use them in the laundry. I mean, you can use them anywhere. If you've got a, a you know, if maybe you're one of those people that, that's not a full out handyman, but you got some tools and you wanna put them somewhere, this is ideal. If you wanna get this for, for mom for Mother's mm -hmm. Day, for dad for Father's Day, it's a great, great gift. And first of all, what's nice is neither one of them will have to put it together because it'll exactly. come put together. And that's a really big deal. Um, you know, we were talking earlier about our, our senior friends out there. Um, you know, senior, my mom could totally utilize this, but I would never send her something that would have to be put together. No. Just guess who'd have to do that? You. That would be me. <laughs> and I've done it before. When she bought, she bought a coffee table and it wasn't mm -hmm. assembled. And I'm like, oh my gosh. She bought two. And I'm like, oh my gosh. One took me an hour and a half. I don't even do it. Because of all the screws it. and all that. This comes ready to go, and look at how nice That's it what I, Okay, I love this shot, and this is right here in our kitchen, you know, and you buy stemware, because it's beautiful. You need stemware, but you buy great, beautiful ones like that, and what do they end up doing? Hiding in a cabinet somewhere, not on display. This can be a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous area in your kitchen and focal point. And you get so many options with this. Remember, you can use this with this rack down. You can use this with this entire top off. But notice right here, as I stand, you know, guys obviously a little taller, I'm about 5'3", maybe 5'2", without any heels yeah. on, you know? But it's a great work area for me. So I can stand and get my projects done, whether I'm crafting, yeah. whether I'm doing it's like some- for both of us, because like you said, I'm taller. Yeah. I wouldn't have to bend to prep on this. Exactly. Which I love. Exactly, so like I said, if I'm doing any type of do-it-yourself or any type of projects that maybe I saw on Etsy or something crazy like that or Pinterest, whatever. Um, now I have that workbench, yet everything can be at my fingertips. It's not taking up a huge footprint. Remember, only 18 inches off the wall and then three feet right here. Yeah. And I want to uh, I want to show you again how easy it is to put together because I get very intimidated by things that have a lot of parts. Right. Because I don't think I've ever put something together and not had like an extra screw. And then you're like, uh, where, where do you think this was supposed to go? Yeah, slide it over <laughs> for you. So here we go. So nice and easy. It's going to come in a couple different pieces. They all come in the same box. You've yep. got this top shelf right here, okay? Slides in so right. nice and easy. Now, here we go. We've got these feet right here. These go out. And why do we have these? Well, because we want you to have that height so that you can put those mixers, the microwaves, all those big appliances on that these super These are so sturdy. solid. Right? I just hold it. It's heavy. I mean, it's because, because of the joint, it has to hold the shelf. So 
mm -hmm. they, origami never cheaps out on their design or any of the craftsmanship when they utilize right. this. So watch, okay, so watch how hard this right. is. And you can even use it just like this. Because <coughs> of all the origami yeah. that we sell, this is the only one that has that is this long and this deep with those flat wood surfaces. So I love remember. the wood top too. The wood Gorgeous, top is great. Right? So watch, here okay, she there goes. You go. That's it. So this is already attached when it comes home. You've got your famous origami clasp in the back. And then boom. Done. That's it. That's your assembly. You don't even, there's nothing else. If you are a renter and, you know, maybe you, you might be moving at some time, mm -hmm. this, this is one of those pieces you're not going to sweat uh, because it literally pops up. So when you get it in the box, it's going to come in a box about the size of what you just saw. And this is what you'll do. That's you'll it. open it up, you'll take the top, mm -hmm. and you'll fold it over. Fold it over. Locks into place locks right into here. Locks into place right here. All and right. then you decide, hey, do you want it like this? Yeah. Totally up to you. And, you know, the way that these are designed, you know, like I said, we used to have the old origami baker's rack, okay? Right. Those had the slits, but now we read your reviews, and it was so super easy. They said, um, let's put it this way, guys. This way. Um, they want, you wanted the wood shelves. Well, how perfect is that? So these line up just like this. Boom. You're ready to go. And this locks, by the way, so now you have a sturdy top up mm -hmm. top. It's such a brilliant design. Hey, Rob, any left in white? Okay, so so Rob says there's a little, there's about okay. maybe about eight dozen left or nine dozen left in the white. So we're 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 about 150 or so. If you want to get it in white, I still have enough. Don't no worries on the on the brown. I've got about seven or eight hundred of those in the bronze. But listen, if you're looking for storage and you you don't have the ability to expand your home, which most of us don't, but you want to take advantage of the existing space that you have, get one of these things. I'm telling you, it only takes up a little over a foot in depth, which is why I love it for right. a cla for a cabinet or a closet or instant pantry. Um, you know, a lot of people may have an area uh, that's a, that's kind of a, a closet that maybe you're using for storage or a coat closet, and you want to start storing food in there for whatever reason. You know, you want to have your emergency mm -hmm. kits and all that stuff in there. It's ideal for that. If you have a garage, you'll still have plenty of room for the cars to get in and out. You know, a lot right. of people don't want a full-out workbench. No. They want something that they can work at here. Uh, Tracy brought up a really good point, which is the height of that first shelf. That first shelf, the height of that, I would say, is probably 48 Inches, maybe? Uh, that sounds about right. Just about 48 mm -hmm. inches, about four feet high. It's ideal for Tracy's height and my height. And you know, we've been watching, have you been watching, you know, Roger Teeter's been here with the, with the hangups, yeah. and he's been talking about how a lot of people are standing up to do their work because mm -hmm. it's actually better for you to stand right. than do your work than it is to bend. Well, I've been all over my daughter for you know, posture He told me, I was watching his show, and he said, sitting in a chair bent over is, is like two and a half times worse than standing up. Makes sense. Because you're, you, you're not relieving mm -hmm. anything. You're still arching your spine and all that. So when you work, and here's what I was showing you, and I'll go from behind. Yeah. I don't have to bend to work here. I can do so if I'm chopping vegetables, if right. I'm using this as a, just my temporary mini mm -hmm. kitchen, you know, when holidays come and everybody's looking for and counter space. Do I. I don't have yeah. to get on my tippy toes either. It is that perfect height that works for everybody. And it's not too high. Like if you're taking something out of the oven, your pies, whatever you're right. baking, it's going to sit perfectly fine on top of that. So you're not lifting anything up really heavy and having to, to place it up here. But again, we have it propped out. Again, we talk about these appliances, these big, things where do they live in your home are they out of sight out of mind so you're not using them are you do you have it on particle board or something where it's bowing or breaking or just look at how gorgeous this is this is what i'm talking about when it comes to that pop of color a lot of us love you know that color in the kitchen whether it's the red the blue the turquoise the palm um palm leaf green is a new yeah. hot color yeah. across the board you can use this to have a beautiful clean crisp base and then get these pop even the fruit is going going to pop off of this. The mixers will pop, but it is a beautiful storage solution for your kitchen, for your craft room, for your bathroom, your laundry room, for your office. I love that there is enough space in between each one of these shelves for filing cabinets. Yeah, yeah. So you can line these up and this can be a beautiful office station with your laptop, your yeah. printer, or whatever. I will guarantee when you get this, you're going to be very, very impressed. I, I, you know, it's, it's funny. A lot of people are like, I ordered it. I, I was not prepared for how great I, this product right. would be. I really thought it would be a decent way to do storage, but when you see the quality of the craftsmanship, the simplicity of putting it together literally takes no time to take it apart or put it together. And Tracy will show you that as we go out of the as we go to the hour here. It's very, very simple to, to store if you need to, but when you get it home, this is the best part. It all comes 
it's pre-assembled. The only thing you do is put the top rack on. There's, you'll never have to touch a screwdriver right. or a hammer no. or, or anything or a wrench. You don't have to do anything. It all, that's how origami works. They took care of all that for you. Yep. And what I love about that too is they've put it together correctly. Right. So you, they're, not, they're not putting it in your hands and saying, okay, you put it together. Right. Uh, they, they have put it together for you and they've done it in a great way. Uh, if you take advantage today of the discounted price, it's $20 off. I know the shipping normally is, is $10, $12, $15. It's only $5 today. So we, we took care of, the, uh, of that for you. And you can get it home for as little as $25.99. You're going to love it. Great job, my Thank dear. You, my as always, I Great love all the setups. Right? It's beautiful. It's great. All right. As always, you can always uh, go over there to hsn.com and you can check out some stuff we got going on there. You know, it's up to 30% off our top kitchen brands right now. What a great way to be able to save money. Uh, and you can get a variety of things for your kitchen. You know, uh, springtime is such a great time to stock up on all your stuff. So you will be able to do that very easily at hsn.com. Save some money at the same time. Uh, so take advantage of that and take advantage of all the deals. Okay. Coming up next, and I know it's May, and you're looking at me and you're saying, oh, guy, it's it's not hot. It's getting hot everywhere. we got a way to cool down your environment quickly. It's our best value of the day. It'll be up right after this. Stick around. Who knew a little piece of plastic could be so much fun? Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day, on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing. VIP Easy Returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. Since 2011, HSN Cares and Habitat for Humanity have been helping women realize their dream of home ownership. HSN Cares believes in giving back. You're building lives. HSN actually cares. For the entire month of May, HSN Cares will donate $1 from every at-home item sold during at-home shows. None of this could have happened without your donations. Thank you for helping me make my dream a reality. HSN Cares is the heart of everything we do.